it's very sad that the amount of import that is being done in Bhutan. We import so many, like, special, like, I, I can't really say special, but different breed of dogs, you know, whereby, like, people become attached to the personal dogs, you know, and they say, this is my dog. Then the rest of the dogs, they don't really have uh, a concern, actually. We see people, like, kicking dogs and all, you know. So that is why, actually, this, at this point of time, like, there are issues like how do we manage dogs, you know, whether to be neutered, whether to kill them, or whether to be pounded. So actually, if people really uh, stick on to our values as a Bhutanese, then I think there shouldn't be any such problems. Pron Pron is a street dog, walking around his territory to keep a close eye on new faces is what he likes to do. He lives with each other strong troop and they are all peace loving and willing to mingle with humans anytime. Meanwhile, upside down and his troop occupy the Changlam area. Pron Pron and his troop never dare to enter others' territory, nor does upside down and his troop. Dogs have always been nuisance to people living in Thimphu. However, there are some people who like feeding them no matter what kind of problems the dogs may have created for them. Yeah. The old man calls for Pron Pron to come and eat, but for some reason, Pron Pron refuses to move any further after a few steps. He does not like entering into Upside Down's territory, even when he is starving to death. But the old man walks towards Pron Pron to provide his share of snacks. I guess, uh. Pron Pron happily takes the food until he can take no more. Last, I these snacks are a bit dry and Pron Pron needs a water to drink. Few shops around the capital have come up with ideas where they help feed the street dogs.
Some shop owners see that dogs on the streets are not stray dogs but belong to the community. We are actually printing bookmarks uh, to collect money for uh, feeding the dogs. We feed them one meal a day, every night. So uh, all the proceeds from the bookmarks uh, go for the dogs. Uh, also, we have a donation box uh, where people put their change in so that uh, we can use the proceeds from this as well to add uh, for the meat for the dogs. Today, in the capital city, every street you name it, you will see gang of dogs left abandoned without owners and care. And many a times, these dogs end up in the nets of animal control officials who continuously catch the street dogs to control its population. And today, the dogs along the Centenary Farmers Market area will be victims to this effort. And as the officials with the nets approach, the dogs sense danger as they start barking unusually. People to wander and walk towards the barking dogs. The dog catchers are at the scene. They mean no harm. Their only objective is to sterilize the dogs and help the injured ones and rescue it back to their own territory. And in the meantime, people discuss about the fate of these dogs. ジェノマシミシミシメ、ディシエマバトンメラテ。ソディタムタミティタメバラ。テテレベロ。ダノマシミシミシメヤシャサゴレシミンドテテレ。ソンチェアコウチエ。ナミセミレボンチェオニメ
at the landfill. The Jiangsa Animal Shelter is the only animal shelter in Thimphu. Today, the center has over 70 dogs. Some were rescued after they were hit by moving cars and some with diseases. These dogs are well monitored by the trained and passionate volunteers. However, Jiangsa Animal Shelter has its own drawbacks since it was established as a non-profit charitable trust. Thirty-eight-year-old Rinzin has been managing everything from cooking to feeding and cleaning the entire surrounding for the last eight months. Bhutan is a Buddhist nation and everyone in the country is compassionate of all living beings on the planet. Yishi Choden is 91 years old. She once sheltered 30 stray dogs and 30 cats in her house in Changzamto. And today she has only six dogs. Yeah, come to the shoe. Shoe. Yeah. Shoe. Yeah. Come to the Yeah. 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 ลูซี่ลูเลจิเบดเนอันนี้มีอังเกอันนี้กําตรละอภิตักกาอภิปปิตรอภิอัจจุเชดิดิมิตเวนามิเลยเนี่ยคงดิโตเดอันนี้เว
You have to be really careful with these dogs. Oh, these okay. dogs also bit my friend last time. So be careful. Changlam is where Pran Pran and his members reside and in return to the food they receive from the shopkeepers and the residents, Pran Pran and his friends guard the area vigilantly all night long, protecting the community that feeds them.